Hey, what's up guys? Wanted to go ahead and put together some tutorials here. This is Chateau Whistler, hole number one. You'll see wind in the face. We're gonna try to get this up here as far as possible. So that's what I'm doing, utilizing a Mojave. I wanna make sure I can get to this green in two. And with only a Fusion 3, that becomes monumentally harder when you're faced with a headwind. So with that in mind, you'll see that we're kind of up against it. Two shots here. Another thing we can think about doing here. Maybe adding something with more topspin. Even though my El Capitan is kind of on a low level, still thinking about going with it because of the extra topspin. Extra topspin when it's a scale of about 30 more, is definitely going to be more than 7 yards of distance carry. I've found 10 yards to be a little bit closer to 7-ish yards, give or say. So every 10 I go beyond is probably going to... So if I was to go 6 bars, this is going to run out pretty well. However, it's being hindered by our headwind here. So even though it looks like it's going to roll out a very far away, maybe, I can tell you that it's going to collapse down. So with it collapsing down, we're going to keep that in mind. We're going to go to Woods. We're going to go to Captain 3. And you can see with where I'm at, spin-wise, 1 from the top. And of course, this is definitely a guess. We're going to go beyond max here. Reason being is because we're all the bounces and rollout, it's going to deflect more. So I'm going to go much more like 2.9 or so. It's just kind of a guess. And the biggest reason is because all the bounces are going to be influenced by wind effect. Whereas when you're backspinning, that's how I calculated the rings. You can see maybe even that was even a little under. You can see I should have gone the full thing. It was kind of a guess. Um, this club has a decent amount of guide. At least that gives you a reference point. I could have got there, but I just wanted to be on the safe side, which was obviously being a little too safe because you're, you're better off getting one the green, then you are getting a 9.99. Now keep in mind, all I'm going to do here is dunk, put the center in the cup, and with the Mojave on, it should be a little bit of extra precision for you, so you'll at least be able to guarantee that pitch. But in the event that you kind of see your ball guide set up the way that mine was, and you get a headwind, just know that you can be a little bit more aggressive. With a side wind, I would have definitely made it to that hole with that same top spin. So keep that in mind. Good luck. I'll see you guys next time.